Welcome and thank you for joining our ninth annual boot display ceremony. I'm tremendously honored to welcome everyone who traveled here today to join us. Before I begin, I'd like to recognize several special guests, General McConville, the 44th Eagle Six, and our Army's Chief of Staff, State Senator Bill Powers, Mr. Jack Turner, Mr. Bill Harpel, our elected officials, our CASAs, and all our Fort Campbell champions in attendance. We are honored to have everyone with us this morning. I'd also like to extend a heartfelt welcome to all our Gold Star and surviving family members in attendance today. Your strength and continued dedication to the memory of our fallen heroes is truly inspiring. Sergeant Major Walker and I, along with the entire Fort Campbell community, remain steadfast in our commitment to you and your families. For over 80 years, the Screaming Eagles have been defending the freedoms that we all hold dear. Freedom, as we know, isn't free, and our division has sacrificed significantly over its 80-year history. Everyone here knows someone that paid the ultimate price in service to our nation. It's only fitting that we host such a ceremony to honor those that our community and our nation have lost since September 11, 2001. I'd like to take a moment to explain the incredible display before all of us. In total, this memorial commemorates 7,890 service members who have paid the ultimate price since 9-11, regardless of service affiliation. 7,814 of the boots in the field before us represent all United States service members who passed prior to 2020. The remaining 76 boots represent Fort Campbell service members who have passed in the last three years. In total, there are approximately 700 boots representing Fort Campbell soldiers. Sadly, we have added 31 new boots to this display since last year's ceremony, including the tragic accident on March 29th, where we lost nine Screaming Eagle soldiers from Charlie Company, 6th Battalion of the 101st Aviation Regiment. Each boot, represents a dedicated American who paid the ultimate price. Each boot is adorned with a tag displaying a picture of the fallen service member, his or her name, rank, date, and location of their death. Each tag is color coded by year and the boots are placed in chronological order by the date in which the soldier passed away. Each of these great Americans, these heroes, being honored today died in the defense of our freedoms alongside teammates they loved and respected in the service of something bigger than themselves. Each of them was loved by their families and each had aspirations for their future. These boots represent outstanding Americans who felt drawn to serve and who voluntarily took up the mission of defending our country. Each year this powerful display draws thousands of fellow citizens who wish to pay their respects during the 10-day period for which these boots are displayed. As was the case in 2014, when we began this ceremony, this display continues to be a labor of love, and we appreciate the tireless efforts of our surviving family members and volunteers that contribute their time and energy to make this memorial possible. Please join me in applauding their incredible efforts. Fort Campbell's first boot display occurred nine years ago and was dedicated to honor the life of Private First Class Timothy Vimoto, who was killed by small arms fire on June 5, 2007 in the Korangal Valley of Afghanistan. The origins of this ceremony are tremendously important to me as I served with Private First Class Vimoto's father, Command Sergeant Major Isaiah Vimoto, in the No Slack Battalion in 2006. 
Private First Class Timothy Vimoto's boots boot is just one of nearly 8,000 boots in front of us. I would also highlight the, highlight the, highlight something I just uh, I just found out recently that in our presence today we have Miss Judy De Giovanni, who's the mother of Sergeant Blake Evans, who died in Iraq on the 25th of May 2008, while serving under my command in Second of the 327th, the Mighty No Slack Battalion. This is her first time to have been able to attend, and it's an honor to see you and to have you here, ma'am. Thank you very much for attending. These boots displayed before you represent a personal loss to the families and service members gathered here today and for many more who were unable to attend. In a moment, Command Sergeant Major Walker and I will add a boot to this field of honor. This boot represents a soldier whose loss affected each and every one of us in this division deeply. We chose the boot of Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas Goshen, someone I personally served with in my time as the Commanding General. Lieutenant Colonel Goshen, or Nick as we knew him, was the Division G2 from June to September of 2022. He began his tremendous career as an infantry officer in this division, first the 506 Infantry Regiment in our 4th Brigade, serving in Ramadi, Iraq, which we all knew as a stronghold of the Iraqi insurgency. While there, he was injured. Nick then transitioned to become an intelligence officer and served in multiple prestigious units, such as 2nd Ranger Battalion, the 173rd Airborne Brigade, the Ranger Regiment's Military Intelligence Battalion before finally returning home to the 101st Airborne Division as our G2. Nick passed away last September in Romania while deployed with the division headquarters. Nick is survived by his wife, Megan, who is here with us today. I knew Nick very well and think of him daily. His intelligence, his wry sense of humor, and his intensity are missed by each and every one of us. Command Sergeant Major Walker and I are honored to place his boot, a boot in his memory, in part because of the high opinion that each and every one of us felt towards Nick, and also that by adding this boot, I know that Nick will be remembered year after year, as long as this memorial exists. Every one of these boots displayed before you represents a similar form of loss for countless families and friends, many of whom are in attendance today. It is only appropriate that we take time to honor their sacrifice. And if you would, please join me in a moment of quiet reflection on those that we know or that we know that have, uh, have been lost. Thank you. For those of us who remain, we have a duty to live in a way that not only honors their memory, but is worthy of their immense sacrifice, and that sacrifice of their families. So while we honor their service, we also acknowledge the debt we owe them and their families. Each of us can draw on their examples as, as an inspiration to live better each and every day. Thank you for joining us today, and may we never forget the fallen their sacrifice, and those families left behind. Screaming Eagles, Air Assault.